Hey guys, it's uh, Joe here again, and in my uh, verse, first video, I uh, was talking to you uh, a little bit about uh, some of the beliefs I have, and obviously uh, my Second Amendment rights, and what I would like to show you guys uh, maybe is, um, you know, kind of what I what I carry uh, with me uh, on, on a daily basis uh, to like you know to work um, you know to me like like I said before you know this is just for myself I you know not everybody does this uh, but it's just what I feel comfortable um, carrying with me and I'll show you like the bag I carry um, so uh, here it is all right, so this is the bag that I carry on an everyday basis. Um, it's actually by uh, Next Pack, and it is actually a shooting bag. Um, I actually got this at uh, the latest gun show that I went to. Um, I actually paid only $15 for it. So let's kind of jump in here and see what I got. Um, I don't believe I carry anything in these pockets, only because, especially this one, because it comes actually down all the way to the bottom, and I don't want anything coming out the sides. So I don't, I don't really put anything in there. Um, usually, I do carry a knife uh, with me, just a little small pocket knife. I will show you that. Um, but let's see in my main carry. See what kind of goodies we got in here. Um, I do carry gloves. These are kind of basically my all-purpose gloves. I do drive with them. I do clean my guns uh, with those gloves. Um, but they, like I said, they're just an all-purpose. They are mechanic gloves, but I just use them for whatever I want. Okay, so uh, last time I had showed you my um, what was a, uh, a Springfield XD9. This is actually uh, my 357, uh, one of the most powerful handguns we have. Um, this is actually an EA uh, by EA. Um, it's a Windicator, uh, 357, like I said. See the bullets? Yep. And this is a revolver for everybody who does not know. All right, this is one of my uh, carry choices. I have that. And then also I have the good old uh, XD9, which is basically my my primary carry. Now, I actually uh, used to have um, a smaller hand pistol, uh, a 25, but I do not carry that anymore. Uh, number one, because I sold it, and the other reason why it's um, there's less kick on it on a 25, so I, for me it was uh, better to handle. This is my pocket knife uh, that I that I bought at the gun show as well. Uh, I carry this with me. That usually go will go here. All right. So reading a couple of things on, on safety and some things that you should always have with you. Um, and I also have, they, uh, they always recommend that you carry a flashlight with you uh, at all times just in case. I mean, they don't want, you know, people, especially if you're around in the dark. Um, you know, the last thing that we would want is for you to just be wandering around out there without, um, you know, any type of light. Um, so other than that, I mean, that's the, my main carry. If I, I mean, I try to leave my guns on the top just in case. Um, so it's, so it's easy access in this pocket. Um, I did want to show you, uh, what this is, uh, for anybody who do, does not know, uh, what this is. Um, it actually is a solid steel stick with sheath uh, so basically uh, what that means is it's a, it's a basically a, a retractable um, type of baton I mean uh, take it out of the thing and I'll, and I'll show it to you so let me show you so this is it here excuse the mess right 
so this is it here best way to use it there you go all right retractable um, obviously to keep people at uh, at bay uh, if they are attacking you um, I do not know obviously uh, what the true laws are on this in Colorado so I better be careful um, I um, this one is is a flat bottom okay I actually just bought got this one I don't know if these are illegal to carry um, I could probably like just google it and find out but the crappy thing about this one is you just kind of have to knock it on the ground to get it retracted all right there's that one there and then in my other side um, I actually do have uh, another one now with this one sorry let me get this out with this one it's kind of the same thing but let me show you the difference this one actually has a window breaker on it all right so if not that I'm <laughs> gonna be out breaking windows but if worse comes to worse let's say I'm stuck in a car and I need to get out maybe the car is on fire I grab my bag and pop the window from the inside out and once again simple flip of the wrists this comes out and you have your so now I have two one for each hand like I said this is obviously just for keeping people at bay this is a, a, a smaller one uh, there are a lot larger ones um, obviously out there um, and there you go put that back and last but not least this is something um, I just picked up and I kind of want to show this to you real fast for anybody who does not know what this is and let me see oh you might think oh just another flashlight no not so ready that's for that's the I guess that's the blind people I'm not really sure but uh oh looks like it's uh it needs to be charged so I'm gonna charge this real fast and I'll be I'll be back to uh, to show you what it really does but uh, what this is is actually this and this is a I don't know if you can see that for a little it literally says so this is an actual stun gun so what I'll do is I will go ahead and charge that uh, show you the electricity power on it uh, when I come back um, I wanted to reshoot this uh, part of the video again because it came out kind of blurry uh, this is the stun gun uh, that I had bought at the uh, gun show uh, this is the box for it um, smaller stronger uh, Aegis flashlight stun gun um, I do believe this means uh, this part here um, uh, 2013 series is the, obviously the year um, and the one unfortunate th thing is is it does not actually tell me um, how many volts are being put through uh, this thing when um, when being put off so I had showed you before uh, the the two modes that there are um, the first one being the flashlight mode and the second one uh, let's see if we can do this without getting yelled at from upstairs so that's pretty much it um, I'm thinking that this puts through maybe 20,000 volts um, I'm gonna look that up and see if that's true or not but I can definitely tell you that if you were to shock somebody with this uh, they would probably pee in their pants 
in all honesty. Um, the other one that my mom has is actually, it looks like a cell phone, um, but it's not. It's, it's got the two prongs on the top, just like this one does. And it works the same way. It's just that, you know, if you're taking it out of your purse, someone's not going to think, oh, you know, it's probably just a, a purple pink phone or a pink phone. Um, as some girl's taking out of her purse to try and, uh, you know, call somebody. But no, it's it works just like this. It's got the button on the side and this button as well. And if you get close enough to somebody or somebody puts their hands on you, obviously you go ahead and shock them. Now also I had showed you uh, also the, the flat bottom um, uh, solid steel stick. Um, and also the one with the window breaker too um now the just to let you know you can get these at, at the local gun show i bought both of these for about 16 dollars a piece and um i bought this one now that i'm thinking about it I, i'm pretty sure i ended up buying this for 30. um the reason why i'm showing you guys this is i would love for everybody to you know stay protected some way somehow if you don't feel comfortable carrying a gun carry something like this or at least something like this for protection you know i would not ever want to see any of my family members or uh, friends get hurt um or be hurt be because they didn't have some sort of protection on them so that's what i pretty much carry on a daily basis within my bag um just in case uh so uh let me know what you think uh if you think it's you think i should add anything else um i'd be more than happy to look into it um but i'd love to hear what you think so let me know thanks hey guys uh it's me joe um i just wanted to uh, take a minute uh, real fast and um, just just kind of just kind of be serious with you for uh, a minute um, for a lot of people who actually really truly know me um, I never ever really uh, get a chance to um, you know be serious a lot of the time I'm you know joking and you know that's that's just you know really me and um, you know lately I uh, uh, it was I think it was like two two weeks ago. I my tooth, my back molar ended up uh, hurting real real bad, and um, I ended up going to the doctor, the, the dentist. And while I was there, my mom with went with me, and because I wasn't sure if they were gonna you know take my tooth out or give me any drugs, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna I'd be able to drive home uh, you know on my own. So she went with me, and I went in, and they had to do some preliminary tests before they. You know, they just wanted to check me out, and uh, I got my blood pressure taken, and it just, you know, just really wasn't good, and it was just like so high, and I'm just really just, you know, it just kind of put me in in just a funk. I'm just like really not, not really sure what to do, and the doctor, you know, he recommended me to, you know, somebody else, and um. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm just really, just really not doing too well. And, you know, I, my parents pretty much, you know, begged me to, uh, you know, change my eating habits and, um, you know, try and get back in the shape and stuff. And, you know, I really, really want to do that. I just don't think, I just think I, I'm, I'm just too short on time. So I'm not really sure what to do. You know, there's not, like I said, there's not really times that I get to come out and be, you know, serious. And, uh, I just don't know what's going on. And, uh... I just want to say thank you to everybody who has watched my vlog so far and who knows this actually might be the last one and uh, I just want to say thanks for watching just kidding <laughs> um, no I'm um, actually um, I did get my tooth pulled out the other day and um 
Yeah, actually, I mean, I did go with my mom, and she, and my my blood pressure was actually kind of high, and and that's one thing I, I I would really like for you guys to actually keep up with me about is I think that would be actually a good idea if maybe what we did is we threw, threw some like workout videos together and maybe I took like a, a before and after shot or or maybe you guys could definitely like you know definitely cheer me on in in, in the internet world and just be like listen you know we we obviously think. You know, creating these videos is a good thing, and you know we're we're behind you. I would love some support, you know, from everybody, and you know I definitely think you know as as these videos go on, you'll definitely be able to see a change, you know, within me and you know what I look like and everything. I definitely want to, you know, get back into you know being as athletic as I was. Not saying that I'm not, but you know, um, it never hurts to. You know get back on track with things and i definitely want to you know live live a long life and have some kids and be able to en enjoy them so i think uh, it's going to be a good thing for uh, you know i just think that it was just a little kick in the kick in the butt uh on my point and um and definitely we're gonna we're gonna get going on this so i think next week we're gonna go ahead and start and um i hope you guys are definitely on this ride with me so give me thumbs up give me your support um I'm really looking forward to hearing from you your support for me. So thank you guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.